Hello, VC. Straight into part two. Uh, I have a, a few CDs uh, that, for some reason, uh, I am not happy with them. Uh, I don't even know myself what it is that makes me not happy with them. But for some reason, I'm just not pleased with them. So I wanted to get them on vinyl, and actually, I found all three within days of each other. So, first one is Johnny Winter, Saints and Sinners. The other one, Billy Joel, 52nd Street. And third one, Molly Hatchet, self-titled first album. And uh, a few days earlier, I actually found another uh, Molly Hatchet album, Beat in the Odds, which I believe is their first album with their second vocalist. Okay, and let's move on to the CDs for a moment. Uh, I've had this band's uh, first album for, I don't know, 10, 15 years, and I've always loved it, but for whatever reason, I've never bought the second album uh, until now. The Butterfield Blues Band, East West. And uh, th this uh, next one, I've had, I have all the other albums by them on vinyl, so why did I buy this on CD? I don't know, but I wanted it on CD, so... Michael Schenker Group, Assault Attack. And... Uh, I'm not uh, particularly sentimental with artists, in the sense that when uh, some artist dies, uh, I would feel uh, mournful or grieve after them. Uh, I, I don't know them personally, so it's just somebody who dies, and that's it. I don't see much reason to feel sorry about them. Uh, it's, it's not them personally that I love, I love their music. But there are two artists that I still feel very sad that they have died. Uh, for whatever reason that is, I don't know. But this one is uh, one of them, Kirsty McCall, Kite. Uh, this is her second album, uh, and I love Kirsty's records. I love, I love them all. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. Uh, okay, then Freddie King. Uh, I bought this one in around uh, 2001. And I've always loved this. It's a wonderful 20-song compilation, uh, both instrumentals and with vocals. And I've always wanted more. Uh, but I, I just didn't know where to continue. So over the years, I, I've only bought Burglar. This is his uh, album from uh, 74. Uh, I actually didn't know anything about this album at all. I just looked at the cover and it looked like, yeah, that's a good one. So I bought it, and yeah, it is a good one. But I've always hoped to find a good compilation from uh, Freddie King so that I could uh, expand my Freddie King co collection. And when I found this one, the complete King Federal singles, double album, 54 songs, <laughs> It didn't take me many seconds to get my hands on this one. Uh, it's actually playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> oh man, great, great find. Um, okay, a couple of singles then. Uh, this was uh, the record store they released this year. Nirvana, Penny Royalty. Uh, I, I didn't buy this because there's a B-side. I don't have this B-side before. I hate myself and want to die. Uh, so I should have bought this, but I was considering buying the uh, double album version of In Utero. But, well, now that I found this one, uh, it felt like a better option to go with this one. Uh, I do have In Utero on vinyl, so do I really need the double album version? It felt like this was a better option. And then this one was one thing. I don't have any singles from the, this band before, but it was cheap and 
and Blackfoot, Dry County, Too Hard to Handle. This one is actually a double single. There are, there's a bonus single here, and I know that there, there were always, uh, over the years, uh, on occasion somebody would release these double singles, but uh, I have only one other uh, like this. Uh, thing this is uh, Chinatown was it, which is uh, also a double single. So this one was cheap and it was such a rare rarity that I just I just wanted to get about that one. And uh, we now have uh, over here in Finland we have this uh, record company that has released some uh, out of print albums and also our old punk singles. So I decided that I want to get one of those. Problems. Ei täällä oma päähän käy. Häiri on. Uh, I actually don't have any of these uh, old punk singles. So this is my first uh, 70s, early 80s uh, punk single from Finland. Um, okay. And then let's move on to a truly surprising find. Kiss, best of solo albums. I've had this one for 30 years. And as you can see, it's a German pressing with these S's here. Uh, and I have seen this one with the lightning S's uh, as a cassette, but never on vinyl. So now when I found it, <laughs> yeah. It was cheap, I grabbed it straight away. Uh, and the odd thing is that this one is a German pressing also. Uh, but there is a... Can you see? Uh, well, no, of course not. It's a Bellafon. So it's a di different distributor than on this one. And also the back cover is a bit different. There's also the albums I saw on here, but they're slightly different. And also, here is the old copy. You can see that the song titles are all on white, and they are here like first is Ace Fre three songs from Ace Frehley, three songs from Peter Chris, on the other side, three songs from uh, Gene Simmons, and then three songs from Paul Stanley. But on this one, they are differently. There's uh, first one song from Ace, then there are two songs from uh, Gene, uh, two songs from Ace, one song from Peter, one song from Gene, two songs from uh, Paul, two songs from Peter, one song from Paul. So even the song, uh, song selection is different. Uh, actually, I haven't checked out all, all the songs the same. Uh, No, the song selection is also different. There are different songs here. Oh, let's, let's see this. Yeah, with all, all four members, the song selections are different on these, on these pressings. All right, great. Okay, and then the, the last ones. Um, I am actually at the moment reading the uh, biography of uh, the Stax Records and Southern Soul. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, I passed this uh, part where they were talking about Booker T and MGs. So when I found Green Onions, hey, hey, did I have any choice? No, I didn't. And also, uh, while we were traveling, uh, my brother was reading a, a music magazine, and I happened to see that it was an ad for this next album, and I decided that as soon as I'm coming home, I'm going to look for that one, and I did find it. Paul Diddley, The Singles Collection. Double album, 30 songs. Oh man, is this great. Uh, I actually have a very, very little uh, 50s music on uh, Final. Uh, most of the stuff that I have is on a CD. Well, uh, besides Elvis, of course. So, 
I, I feel that this this was just oh man, <laughs> fabulous fabulous thing. Okay, uh, there were other records also that I bought, but I think that this is a good place to stop for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.